Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the agency. I'm your host, agency, Agent M. Bay. Woo. Uh, and I got a quick, quick news video. I was just reading my, uh, checking my phone this morning and there was this article. I'm trying to figure out how to maximize my screen. Um, there was this article about a Danish artist named Jens Hanning um, who ran off on the plug, as the title implies. Uh, a Danish museum, I need to look up the actual, I'll, I'll pull up the article and give you the name of the actual museum, but it was a Danish museum uh, had uh, lent him $84,000, around $84,000 American, US dollars, to recreate an artwork that he created in 2007 and in 2010 uh, about the average uh, annual income of a Danish, uh, of the Danish and of uh, an Austrian. Um, and so what he decided to do was to not create the artworks. He sent the frames for the artworks back. Uh, I don't know if they sent him the frames to create the artwork, but they sent, he sent them um, empty frames for the artwork and said that he was just going to keep the money. Uh, and the museum is asking for their money back at the end of the exhibition. But right now they're kind of running with the conceptual art that he's, he's creating. And he said that this, 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 him taking the money is the conceptual art. It's called taking the money, take the money and run. Uh, and I kind of agree with him to an extent about you know his idea of I've created these artworks in 2007 and 2010, respectively, and they were about the Danish and the Austrian, uh, you know, annual experience or, or you know, kind of experience and expenses and all that at that time period. That's not that's not relative now, is what he's saying. So I don't want to recreate something that has nothing to do, you know, that I'm not interested in anymore, you know. So I don't, my biggest it question is whether they sent him the uh, like inflated cost of living now versus what it was in 2007 and 2010 respectively. Um, and so that would be really interesting to see because in that regard, it could be a statement about today if it, it did reflect like what the times are now, but if it was just to recreate the exact same artwork that he created before with the same amount of money, it doesn't make sense. So I agree with you, he would, he would just run off with the plug. Like, and and the thing that you will give somebody eighty fourth like when he created those artworks, I don't know what the stipulations were, whether he just had saved that up for himself or whatever. But if he were to, you're gonna give somebody like this is money. You know what I mean? People livelihood they live off of this. So you're giving somebody eighty four thousand dollars. That's a good chunk of money that you could be that you could do something else with. Um, and so it's like, are you gonna pay the? It's gonna it was gonna cost him like thirty nine hundred dollars to to recreate the artwork and so you're asking the artist to pay is what he was kind of saying you're asking the artist to pay to be a part of this exhibition to recreate an artwork about money you know so it's like i don't know if there was any compensation that he was supposed to get for creating the artwork so it's like you give you eighty four thousand dollars for the artwork plus another twenty ten twenty thousand dollars uh for your livelihood, your own livelihood, you know, it's like what is what is what was what is the, the creation of the artwork worth in this regard? So I'm um, kind of not mad at. It. I'm gonna pull up the article. I'm gonna share the screen so y'all can see. I'm gonna pull up the article. Share the desktop. Yeah. So this is it. This is uh, Artnet. It was on my phone. Shout out to Artnet. Um, and so it was, you know, a Danish museum. I just said a Danish museum. I think they, they don't have the name of the museum. Uh. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, here we go. Kunsten Museum of Modern Art in Aalborg, Denmark. So, uh, trustfully, I said that correctly. Uh, let me maximize the screen. Y'all need to see all my files. I know I'm tripping. Um, and so, uh, and so these are you see on the screen here. These are the two artworks that he sent back. The two empty frames. And now that I've seen the artwork. I, I, I recorded this once already and messed up, but now that I've seen what the actual artworks look like or the original artworks look like, um, I, I can understand uh, what the canvas, why the canvases look like this. And so it, it was supposed to be represented as a sculpture, not a, you know, it's not a painting, it's, you know, it's a conceptual piece. Um, and I, when I pull up the images, I kind of explain those, but uh, ideally, like, you know, museums have access to, you know, finding artworks and, and if they want to show or exhibit it, like just getting it loaned from another institution or the original owners. So why not just 
you know, instead of doing what they did, why not just get the artwork loaned to put it in the exhibition and get the, you know, approval of maybe the artist or the artist knows in that regard. Um, but if, you know, if their idea was to give money to some, some way compensate the artist, the original artist, and, and, and this guy's not, he's not young, you know, he's, he's an older artist. Um, uh, and this is the, this is the, the piece here. Uh, this, the exhibition is supposed to be called Work It Out. So uh, I've kind of detailed what this article is about. You can go check it out yourself. I'm going to have the link in the bio. Um, but it's a really it's an interesting, you know, kind of concept. I like these, these little uh, art news things that come up. I thought it'd be cool to kind of check it out. So this is uh, one of the pieces. I was trying to find the title of them. Uh, this one is Jens Heining and Average Austrian Year Income. So this is from 2007. Uh, and you can go check, you can look this up and find it yourself. Um, but this is the piece of the, for the smaller one. So this would have been the smaller one with the, like, you can get the change in there. That's hilarious. Uh, and then this is the, uh, the larger one, which would be the Danish, I guess, an average Danish, uh, an average Danish yearly income or annual, year, uh, annual income. So these are the two artworks that they were expecting him to recreate. So but at the end of this exhibition, they're expecting to get their $84,000 back because he didn't create the artwork, but they're running with the concept, conceptual art that he's created now. Um, so that's that. So I thought it was hilarious, probably a hilarious story. It's not, not so funny to them, I'm sure, but uh, it's a hilarious story. You know, I'm, I'm an artist, so oftentimes I might find myself siding with the artists, but I've been in the museum world, so you know, I side with them sometimes too. So it is what it is. Um, this is just another article, it's probably, you know, uh, Bloomberg. I only pulled this up because I, I've done some work with Bloomberg. So that's just a little shout out to them. So um, get off my YouTube. Um, so yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it'd be a hilarious video, a little, something to kind of kind of uh, check out. Interesting. So his idea is, you know, if you, if the, if the, he said, it's a quote in there, he said, I can't quite remember it exactly, but he said, you know, essentially, if they give you the money, you got to run with it. You know what I mean? So he's calling it some new artwork, take the money and run. I'm calling it run off with the plug. Or maybe I just make my own and call it running off on the plug. Uh, even though that's, you know, whatever. Um, so that's just a quick little update. Something that's out there. Um, personal update, because uh, that was the art news update. NBA Arts update. I uh, got, a, got a job, so I've been working pretty, uh, you know, full-time working at a gallery as an art handler. So I've been, you know, heck of busy uh, doing that. Um, speaking of, like, right now, I got to get ready to go. So, um this is just, this is just thought, I thought it'd be a quick video I could put together. I thought it'd be hilarious. So, um, had a, had a little, little traction on one of my videos about, uh, scams, uh, scamming videos. My latest one that was on PAX, it was talking about PAX gallery. Um, so, uh, shout out to the people that, that were interacting with me on there. Uh, thought it'd be, you know, I thought it was originally, I just thought it'd be a good video. I, I kind of, this kind of the concept or the idea that I had, but it's, it's, it's interesting when the thing that you, you put out, actually kind of happens the way you want it to, uh, even though it might take some time. And so, you know, I put the video out as, as a way for people to like, you know, be able to research and look up for their own and get some, you know, and be able to uh, have a little extra, you know, something to give them a, a, an idea of how to decide what direction they want to go in when they get these type of contacts. Now, the original one, the first one I did was more so dealing with like an individual that's contacting you and how you kind of vet that situation but the, the past gallery one had a lot more information so it was a lot easier to research and figure out what it was that you wanted to uh wanted to do to you know whether you wanted to participate or not you know they kind of gave you a uh, kind of a list of how, how it works um and i was just saying that i thought it was a, essentially if it wasn't a scam i just thought it was a bad idea either way as an artist uh, i just didn't like a, a good opportunity so i was just like nah especially not if you like are overseas or you don't live where those galleries are or whatever so it just doesn't, you know, it never felt like it was a, you know, it didn't feel like a real thing. But I had, you know, I've had a, you know, a follower on Instagram contact me and Facebook contact me about it. And we kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, and then another a comment on my YouTube channel where somebody had commented and, and it kind of said, you, you can see, you can check the video, you can see what they said. So we had a little interaction there. So it was real cool to, to, to experience that, you know, I, as, I, I was, as I was building the channel at the time that I was. So it's it nice to know that, that video can like, last you know because it felt like one of those ones that like you know i got it down and i've you know i was reading articles where other people had gotten it so you know people will probably continue to receive these these, these emails so um so shout out to that i was i was a little concerned about like you know because i don't like conf confrontation and a lot of you know confusion and nothing like that but uh so i was a little concerned about like kind of you know ratting people out or calling people out or something like that so 
I just kind of ran, I just kind of stood on it. So I'm standing on it. So shout out to that video. Um, I had to do more videos like this with the glasses off because the lighting is a lot better. And once I put these on, I don't have any like glare protectors and I want you to be able to see my eyes. So either way, that's that. I got to get ready to go. Um, thank you for hopping on and checking out another agency arts video. Um, you know, if you got to run off on a plug, do what you got to do. I ain't there right now. Uh, but you know, I'll give y'all, you know, there'll be updates. Hopefully I can, I've been, I've been inspired to do a few more interviews, I think somewhere in the back of here. So I might try to, uh, schedule a few more of those and see if I can get uh, some action going in. I got a video right now that I need to just finish editing and put out. So it is what it is. That's an update from Agency Arts. Um, appreciate you checking out. Check the link in the, in the bio for any merch or also the links for the articles and uh, that I uh, talked about in this. Um, and that's that. If I, I want to start doing a little bit more of these, if I can find news that's like interesting to me for to, to, to report. Art news don't always allow me to, or art net don't always allow me to read the full article. So this might be my one free one for the week or for the month or something. So it is what it is. Uh, but I'm out. Thanks for checking in. NBA, out of here.